was in 1985 when the seeds of what would now become Lighthouse Bible Church uh, first started to take root. I remember when I first started attending UCLA and uh, realizing that there are many who did not have the kind of church situation that I did growing up at Grace Community Church with wonderful Bible teaching and uh, leaders who genuinely loved and shepherded our lives. Uh, I remember it was with Peter Lim that many times uh, we would talk about it late into the night and uh, dream about one day being part of the church that would really particularly reach out to the Asian American community but also at the same time uh, be open to anyone who would have a need to hear the gospel and would want to be in a church where the love of Christ really would uh, prevail. Well, fast forward a few years and uh, ended up getting married to my wife Angela and uh, together uh, we continued to dream and it was in the summer of 1996 that uh, while we were on a vacation trip to San Diego that as we were driving I just mentioned to her that wouldn't it be neat if we could plant a church in San Diego? Angela saying, why? I mean, we already have a church. We were in Maryland at the time. Uh, but I told her, let's just pray about it. And uh, let's just uh, see what God will do. And through just a uh, course of events that God orchestrated, there were a number of people that ended up sharing that same hope and desire to see a church planted in San Diego. Uh, but for uh, various reasons, we weren't able to pursue it until uh, 1998. And that's when we first came together with a few other families and uh, the often shared stories of uh, having Mexican food uh, and talking about it. Uh, we prayed about it in the summer of 1998. We were able to start our first Bible study. And later on that December, we had our first service for what would be now Lighthouse San Diego. And God was so gracious to uh, give us uh, the opportunity to, to share the gospel, to preach God's word, and to minister to the lives of people. And uh, this year will actually be the 15 year anniversary for Lighthouse San Diego. Well, it was approaching our 10 year anniversary in San Diego that we, as an elder team, decided to uh, really pray and consider uh, planting a church as that was our vision. And I thank God for uh, various reasons needed to have us grow and prepare for 10 years. But for our 10 year anniversary, we thought, uh, what would be the most appropriate way to celebrate the 10th anniversary? thought it would be great if we would see God provide us the opportunity to plant a church. And that's where Lighthouse San Jose uh, came to fruition. And uh, I remember announcing it at our members meeting January of uh, 2009 uh, that we would then plant a church in the summer of 2010. And uh, amazingly, we had almost 30 people, including our family, uh, move up to San Jose to start the church. And we just celebrated actually the third anniversary of Lighthouse San Jose. God has been so gracious and so merciful to uh, watch over not only the starting of the church, but the growing of the church, and even especially this past year to really preserve and protect the church and have it continue to move forward. Well, it wasn't uh, maybe even a year into uh, Lighthouse San Jose that uh, Jim King came onto the scene God was just very gracious to provide us the opportunity to see a new church plant start in the East Bay area in Alameda, where Jim came now and a number of uh, members are, uh, they just celebrated actually their one year uh, anniversary of starting and uh, we're so excited to see what's happening there. Well, God has now brought us to LA and here we are and God has really uh, blessed us with uh, almost 40 people to be part of this team. And now that we're here, uh, we look forward to seeing how God is going to give us uh, another opportunity to not only plant a church, but hopefully uh, start what will be a base support and uh, kind of a, a networking place where we see the work of church planting continue. So praise God and to Him be all the glory.